All right, here we go. Let me plug the joint. Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? The real reason. Right here. Right? You're, you're not going to get the judgmental guy reason, right? Because they're the type of reasons that a lot of guys would give as to why a woman's sexual past is important to them, it's all based on judgments and insecurities, right? I'm going to give you a reason why a woman's sexual past doesn't matter from the perspective of a non-judgmental man, right? A man who is not insecure at all, right? Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? The real reason, right? So the reason why I'm even talking about this, there was a recent comment that I came across under one of my videos where a guy made the assertion that a woman's sexual past doesn't matter if it's just casual sex, but if you're going to get into a relationship with a woman, that it does matter. Uh, no, it doesn't. And he even said, you need to know. No, you don't. You don't need to know. You want to know. You don't need to know. You want to know. Right? I'm going to share a personal story regarding this, regarding this topic. I'm also going to share another story that does not involve me, but I talked about it in a video that I did years ago. You know, sipping on my morning coffee from my, my dad mug. Hold on, hold on. I got to gotta share. Anyone could be a father, but I'm a real dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I had a hater on the, one of the live streams recently. He tried to say, I don't think he's a good dad. This is a dude who admittedly didn't have his father in his life. So I'm like, you just mad because I'm an active dad and you don't know your dad. Cheers, nigga. Cheers, right? So here we go. Why women hesitate to share their past, excuse me, their sexual past, rather, the real reason. Here's the thing, okay, and I said this under the same video that he placed the comment under, I said this in that video. The only thing about a woman's sexual past that's prudent for you to know is whether or not she has a current STD, right, whether she can get rid of it or not, okay, whether or not she, she has a current STD, or if she's ever had an STD at all, right, specifically something that she can't get rid of. You have a right to know that. A woman having an STD, right, for you men and women, a guy having an STD, currently as you're dealing with him, even if you hadn't had sex with him, that can have a drastic impact on your sexual health if you have sex with someone who unknowingly is carrying something, especially if they know they got it. So you have a right to ask, hey, do you have anything? Right. And if you don't feel good with them saying yes, or or no, rather, no, I don't have anything. If you don't feel good with that, you can be like, well, you know what? I want to test. You have a right to ask for an STD test, an STD panel. You have a right to do that. Right. That's your only right, right? Because that has a real life, real world, real time impact. A woman's sexual past, as far as how many lovers she's had has zero impact. That has no impact on you at all. At all, right? And any impact that you say that it has, it's all in your fucking head. And it's all based on your insecurities and the fact that you're judgmental. A woman's sexual past has no impact on you unless she has an STD currently, whether she can get rid of it or not, or she has an STD that she can't get rid of, which is going to impact the long-term prospects of you wanting to deal with her in any capacity, right? And let me just say this real quick. I remember one time I asked a young lady whether or not she had an STD or if she ever had one. And she, she was honest. She admitted that she had something and what she had, she could not get rid of. It was going to be with her for life, right? And when she told me what she had, I'm like, and she was pretty. She was just my type. But I'm like, nah, I'm going to go ahead and pass. And she was like, no, all you got to do is just practice safe sex. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to really practice safe sex. 
I'm going to practice safe sex so much. I'm just not even going to have sex with you. You know, thank you for being honest. I appreciate that, but I can't do it. Right. So I made a decision based on her honesty and thank God for her honesty. Right. Thank God for her honesty. <laughs> thank God. Right. But, but my point is this, that's the only thing you need to know is whether or not a woman is carrying something. Right. See, your sexual health is where it's really at. Okay. How many lovers you've had, the types of sex you've engaged in, how freaky, nasty, and kinky you are, that has nothing to do with the quality um, of the relationship you will have. That has nothing to do with it. Okay. That has nothing to do with it. A woman's sexual past is not going to impact the quality of your relationship unless you are a jealous, insecure, judgmental person. And it's definitely going to have an impact here. But that's the choice that you're making, right? So <clears throat> here's the thing. The real reason women hesitate to share their sexual past is this. They don't want to be ostracized. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to be scrutinized. They don't want to be ridiculed. See, the guy, like a lot of guys, especially in the red pill space, they try to insinuate or make this assertion that the reason why women are hesitant to share their sexual past is because they feel ashamed. And my thing is this, this, this is how dumb that is. If a woman consented to sex with multiple men that she's known, right? Specifically, if it's casual sex encounters and she's thoroughly enjoyed herself, she's had many, 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 many orgasms from casual sex encounters, why would she feel ashamed of that? She had enjoyable sex. There's nothing to feel ashamed. Why would someone feel ashamed? Because they engaged in memorable, pleasurable, enjoyable sex. Okay, Whether it's in a relationship context or if it's just something casual. It's not because women feel ashamed. right? And, and the fact that guys act like they don't know why women are hesitant to share their sexual past you're either very naive or you're just dumb. Okay, let me say that shit again. For you guys to that question, why are women hesitant to share their sexual past? You're either naive or you're just flat out dumb, right? The reason why, the main reason why, I'm gonna get into the secondary reason in a moment. The main reason why women won't share it is because they know you will judge them, right? They know you won't be able to see past the fact that they had this sexual past, right? You won't be able to look at them as a real person. You won't be able to look at them as a woman. You won't be able to even look at the fact that they have qualities and values outside of sex. You'll look right past that because all you see is sex. And this is the problem with guys who are insecure, judgmental, and they have a surface level way of thinking right? They tend to center the value of a woman around sex. Okay. And you wonder why women lie to guys and they say that they're practicing abstinence when they're not. Now, some women are telling the truth, right? But I would highly recommend that you never believe women. Don't believe when women talk about sex, whether they say they, they had some sex or they say they had no sex or they try to act like they don't like sex or they try to act like they only uh, want to have sex with a man they've known for a while. You shouldn't believe anything women say when it comes to sex. You shouldn't believe it. Okay, it doesn't mean that they're lying. You just shouldn't believe it because all you need for a woman to do is show up for you. Right now, in the present moment, how are you showing up for me? Right? I don't give a fuck what you did before I knew you. I don't give a fuck who you did before I knew you. How are you showing up in the present moment in time? Are you bringing value to me, right? When it comes to sex, all that matters really is one, first and foremost, the woman is sexually attracted to you. There is mutual sexual attraction. In conjunction, when you guys do have sex, if and when that occurs, there's actual mutual sexual compatibility. You both enjoy each other. 
right? That's all that matters. Whether she's had five lovers, 15 lovers, or 50 lovers. What difference does it make? Again, if you're insecure and you're judgmental, I can see how you might disagree with what I'm saying. Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? Now, let me just say this as well. This, these are outliers as to why a woman might feel some shame. These are outliers. If you had a young woman who engaged in a lot of casual sex because she was trying to find something right via the sex, she was using sex as a conduit to try and elicit um, intimacy from a man outside of sex, or she was looking for some type of emotional bond or connection through the sex, and she's had a lot of sex doing that. You know, they call it looking for love in all the wrong places. If you had a woman that was using sex as a way to try and, again, elicit some type of emotional bond or connection, you might have those women who might regret some of the decisions that they made. And it's not because they didn't enjoy the sex in many cases. It's because of the way that they were using sex. Whenever you use sex for something other than what it really is, which all sex should be, is a pleasurable experience on a physical tip, right? That's all it really should be. And, and the only true purpose, the only true value of sex is to procreate. Right. But beyond that, if you're going to engage in sex, it should be for the purposes of the enjoyment, the, the fulfillment that, that it gives you to actually climax. Right. That's it. OK. When you start to tie your emotions to it and your feelings to it, that's where you fuck up. That's where you fuck up and that's where you go down a fucking dark path. Right. This is why you got guys deleting themselves because the woman cheated on them. Or you got guys harming the woman or deleting the guy that, that their woman cheated with, right? Because you're too emotionally tied to the sex. And that usually starts from you body count niggas. Too concerned about a woman's sexual past. You're the type that will harm yourself or others behind sex. You're the type that would do that. Okay, and I would say this. Let me, let me just tell this to all women. Women, <clears throat> guys who are overly concerned about your sexual past they are a danger to you. Okay, let me say that shit again. Women, if you run into a guy who's overly concerned about your sexual past and he's asking you very personal details, he's a danger to you. He's a danger to you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and possibly even physically. Don't fuck with him. It's not worth it. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm telling women to avoid you niggas, right? Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? Now, and again, the other outlier is this, where you may have a woman who was assaulted. She was violated, right? And you do have some women who feel ashamed because they blame themselves, because they put themselves in certain predicaments and they feel like if I wasn't wearing this or if I wasn't drinking too much or if I wasn't at his house or at those guys' apartment, then this never would have happened. So they blame themselves, which is why sometimes they don't report it because they do feel ashamed and they don't want to be ostracized, ridiculed, or judged for quote unquote bad decision making. But again, we're talking about women being violated, women being assaulted. Another outlier is when a woman was filmed unbeknownst to her and then it gets around that she had sex with this guy or a group of guys and the shit is caught on camera, right? So she will feel ashamed because of that. Now, she may have thoroughly enjoyed herself with two, three, four guys, however many guys, but because it's on film and it's getting around, okay, she feels some type of way about it, as she should. I don't blame women for feeling some type of way about it. So let me hit you with this personal story. Then I'm going to hit you with the other shit I was talking about. If I remember, I'm trying to remember now, but, but let me hit you with my personal story. So my, my ex-wife, right? When we very first met, right? We were talking about our past sex lives, right? Now, I was not asking her any questions 
about her past sex life. She was sharing with me some of the things that she engaged in, right? And the reason why she shared with me was because I was sharing with her. Um, she was remarking on my level of skill in the bedroom. She was talking about some of the things I was doing to her and she got a little curious um, about my extensive experience, if you will. So I began to talk about some shit. And as I revealed to her some of the things that I was into, she asked me, so how many women have you actually had sex with? And I told her. And I, I didn't remember the number, but I gave her a rough estimate. And I said, I don't really remember the exact numbers. It's been quite a few. So she was like, well, goddamn. And then she basically said, well, let me say thank you to all of those women. That must that must be why you're so skilled at what you do, because you have plenty of practice, obviously. So that prompted her and that compelled her to be relaxed enough to start talking about herself and her sexual past. So at some point, she's telling me about an experience that she had, right? One of her, you know, uh, bicurious experiences. And, and she was not a bisexual woman. Um, by any stretch of the imagination. But a lot of women are bi-curious to a degree and they might act it out and then they realize it's not really for them. And that was basically her situation. So she's telling me about that. And I'm, I'm, she, she told me something specifically, I'm not gonna share it, but she told me something specifically that made me laugh. <clears throat> so I started poking fun at her, right? I wasn't clowning her necessarily and, and I wasn't judging her, but I was poking fun at her. But when I when I started poking fun at her, I realized she shut down. Like she shut down, and she stopped talking. And I can I could tell by her demeanor and the vibe and the energy that it had shifted because of my ignorance to poke fun at her. So as soon as I realized that she tensed up, I realized the error of my ways. I realized, bro. She was very vulnerable. She was trusting you with this information. And you're poking fun at her. This is going to have a drastic impact on her willingness to share anything going forward. This is going to impact her willingness to be vulnerable to you again, to trust you, to be free, to express her sexuality to a man she really likes. And I realized I fucked up in that moment. So I was very apologetic, very contrite. And fortunate for me, we got past it and we was cool, right? But it took for me to have the astute awareness and observation and peep what had occurred in that particular moment because I was poking fun at her. <clears throat> and I, it was harmless. At least that's how I viewed it. But to her, it wasn't. Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? So I got a story that I talked about in a video. So I did a video a few years back, probably about four or five to be exact. And I was talking about retroactive jealousy, which is a real thing, right? And a lot of guys who are worried about a woman's sexual past, they are the type of guys to exhibit retroactive jealousy, right? So what, what was going on was this young lady she had emailed this guy. This guy had a YouTube channel. I don't recall the name of his YouTube channel, but he had a YouTube channel and you know he would give advice centered around dating dynamics and, and that type of thing. So this young lady emailed him and she was very, very scared and very concerned about the state of her relationship. She had been in a relationship for two years, right? Really cared about her boyfriend, um, really wanted the relationship to work, right? And the reason why she was scared was because two years into the relationship, her boyfriend started asking about her sexual past. He never asked her about her sexual past before. So now he's asking her two years in about her sexual past. So now she's concerned, like, he's never asked me these things. So... <clears throat> Her dilemma was, do I tell him the truth or do I lie to him? Do I tell him the truth or do I lie to him? She didn't want to lie to him because of her love, admiration, and respect for him. 
she did not want to lie to him. But she also was worried about telling him the truth for fear that it would change how she was viewed by him, that it would change their relationship, right? To such an extent that she might lose him. So when guys ask dumbass questions like, are women ashamed? It's not that they're ashamed necessarily. It's they don't want to be ostracized. They don't want to be judged harshly. And a lot of times that's what's going to happen, right? It doesn't, the, again, they're in a relationship for two years. If everything is going good, the woman is um, compliant, she's submissive, she's doing everything <clears throat> that you require that a girlfriend do. You guys have a healthy, loving relationship for all intents and purposes. Why would you care about how many guys she fucked before you knew her? And I can tell you this, the fact that he waited until he was two years in to start inquiring about her sexual past, he was provoked to do that, probably by YouTube content or content on the internet, where he started feeling insecure because other insecure judgmental guys on the internet started putting thoughts into his head. So it started to fuck with his level of confidence in his own relationship because he's listening to these bitter judgmental guys talk shit about women's sexual past on the internet and he literally allowed it to have a mental and emotional impact on him and how he felt about his woman. Fuck what type of girlfriend she was. He's more concerned with what she may or may not have done before he knew her. You know how dumb you are to upset the apple cart? You have a good thing going but because you're so fucking judgmental and insecure, you fuck it up. Why women hesitate to share their sexual past? The real reason. Because you niggas are judgmental. Okay? Regardless of what you motherfuckers believe, women have value beyond their fucking vaginas. But when you center a woman's value based on her fucking vagina, what are most women going to do? They're going to adapt. So they're going to lie. Not because they are ashamed, but because they don't want to be fucking judged. It ain't no different than this. And I'm going to leave you with this. <clears throat> Do you know that some people will lie on their job resumes? They'll lie, right? Especially individuals that have a criminal record. They'll lie. Not because they are ashamed, but because they don't want to be judged for something that happened in the past. They're like, what I did in the past has nothing to do with who I am currently. I would be a great employee for you. The fact that I did this thing 5, 10, 15 years ago, that has no bearing on the type of employee I'll be right now for you. So I don't want to answer this fucking question on this application. Because I, I fear that you're going to judge me for something I did in my past. And this is why women hesitate to share their sexual past. It ain't hard. Judgmental motherfuckers, I'm out.